pay up, daughter. Cuts that dirt that broom down a bit. There's people trying to sleep up here. <laughs> Time you were up and about doing something useful. I'm open to any interesting office. <laughs> oh, get some clothes on. You look like a used tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> the rich brew love. Why don't I give it a twirl? <laughs> <coughs> Are you going to stand there? Don't you care what he says at me? Speak to him. I was just going to speak to him. Well, get on with it then. How do you come for? I do what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you read your Bible? <laughs> morning, I haven't finished my paper yet. <laughs> oh, wars and rumours of wars. Well, not here. Are you sure you've got the right house? <laughs> you uh, probably want to be in Armand Street. <laughs> we believe the world is doomed. Pretty quiet to me. <laughs> but then the happy time is coming. Shall you be there? Well, uh, I, I can't promise. <laughs> Shall we go inside and pray with you? Well, now? Well, I can take it up here. Well, you must excuse the milk bottle on the table. Look, do you think we could make it a short prayer? I mean, I, I really ought not to get started on anything long. <laughs> Norman has got to pull herself together and eat something. Now there's the bun that's paid for it. Now I've got to stop here until they eat it. I don't want to. Oh, well then. <laughs> What's up with him? He's had a religious experience. Ask a silly question. <laughs> you know all that you've got to do? I think so. Oh, that's comforting, a ring of confidence. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go through it again. Now, is there anything you want to ask me? Oh, Auntie Ivy, there is one thing. Well, come on, spit it out, Milburn. What's wrong with Mr Clegg? Never <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mind what's wrong with Mr Clegg. Whatever it is, it's been coming on for years. <laughs> it's you I'm worried about. Are you going to be all right if I leave you? I think so. Oh, <laughs> brief, Milburn. I'll only be gone five minutes. I'm only going to the bank. Don't worry, Ivy. <laughs> You're watching. Ha! That does it. That's all we need. Good now, morning, everybody. All set now. <laughs> oh, I can't leave him with three stripes against him. Oh, I think I'll be all right now. Oh, forget it. Hmm. Now. Well, I wouldn't leave that there if I were you. I've just seen some fool leave a stack of boxes where they were bound to get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to fasten it properly, didn't you? There I was, captured by these teenage missionaries. It can't have been all that bad. Oh, it was. It was bad. You're halfway through breakfast, and the next thing you know, you've got two strangers kneeling on your carpet. I had them at my place once. My God, you have to admire the dedication. <laughs> you feel so helpless. They never come inside. Well, no. I suppose there are limits. <laughs> I've never seen anybody kneeling in the house before. 
before. Well, not without a dustpan. <laughs> it's all unnatural. Oh, I mean, what are they picking on me for? Am I on a list somewhere? The ten most wanted sinners? Hardly. I mean, what have you done to warrant that? I've been trying to think. If it had been him. Well, it's not sins of the flesh, I can tell you that. I scarcely ever got past sins of the skin. <laughs> Nervous of religion. So I wasn't until they came barging in. I had a good prayer, did they? Ah, oh, shut up. I'll send them round to your place the next time. That is, if I ever open me door again. Send them round. I'll convert them. <laughs> so what? Ferreting isn't a major religion. Well, it is in our family. Funny, I thought most of your devotions went towards not paying the rent. Oh, aye, that and all. Well, the only consolation that I've got is that one of them went away with a trouser leg full of fluff. <laughs> it makes you think a bit. If he goes into another ten houses today, think how much pollen he could be spreading. <laughs> you were just lucky there, I think. She was sizzling towards your middle peg. That's all I need to complete my day. <laughs> I thought they were waving your anky. In the inter-school cricketing circles, I was always considered to have a rather elegant style. <coughs> a bold like a sugar plum fairy. <laughs> Is it any wonder I'm off my stride? I'm accustomed to rather more attractive surroundings. Has, has, has he bowled? <laughs> Can I open the eyes yet? Mm -hmm. The click of willow on a summer's evening. Tea in the school pavilion. I thought I said it was falling down. One end was all right. We had it propped. What did they use? The taller boys? <laughs> I wouldn't be slumming like this if we could be overlooked. You must realise a former headmaster still has a position to upkeep. God, did you have to call my name? Well played, Seymour. Good morning, Mrs. Beanpeach. I wonder if I could have a word with the vicar. Oh, I, I'm afraid he's very busy. Well, of course he is. That is why he'll be delighted to see me. My card. Oh, I see. You've brought... How a... do your vicaress? <laughs> I brought these people here for a purpose. Who was it, Rosemary? Did you get rid of them? The man brought us some poor people, dear. <laughs> What? Speak up, woman. If you could just tell him it's Utterthwaite, oh. former headmaster. Uh, perhaps you wouldn't mind waiting here for a oh, moment. Oh, certainly. It, it's very good of you to bring us these poor people. <laughs> the fact is, we don't normally have them delivered. <laughs> Usually we arrange to send them things. <laughs> I daren't take the responsibility. 
<laughs> she made poor pig. <laughs> hey, does that mean there's a bob or two in it for us? <laughs> I must have a word with my husband. Just, just show him my card. Up to three. Former headmaster. Ran my own school. One hundred and eighty! <laughs> Don't no, come here, you two! Oh. Hey, up! Oh, there's a fella here with wings. Look at that. <laughs> Keep your hands off the religious artifacts. Now stand still and let me do the talking. Yeah, well, I'm not praying with anybody. Clegg, <laughs> former lino salesman. Not got rid of them. I distinctly asked you, Rosemary, to get rid of them. It seems important, dear. Well, of course it's important. It's always important. People don't come and see their vicar unless it's important. The question is, how important? It's not just a wedding or a funeral, is it? I mean, surely you can cope with the preliminaries. Well, it, it didn't look like a wedding, dear. I think someone's brought us some poor people. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who is it out there? Oh, God, not him again. <laughs> I don't know it all. What are you doing up there? A pretty girl <laughs> is like a melody. She came from Pontifrac. <laughs> this is not a place of entertainment. You are telling me. <laughs> well, I'm not praying with anybody. Well, you don't have to. That's why I brought you here. I want you to accept that religion is a perfectly ordinary part of life. Yes, well, I'll accept that. Let's go. Right, I'm all... Yeah, right. Come on, you two. You're getting a thing about religion. There's only one cure for that familiarity, which is why we're here to offer our services in any useful capacity. I have to warn you that I'm very low on useful. And I'm not joining if there's an entrance fee. <laughs> Relax, you're already a member. Who put my name down? <laughs> I didn't. Well, you were christened, weren't you? Of course I was christened. Well, there you are, then. I know I'm a Christian, because my mam kept my Christian robe. Oh. Oh. It was a hell of a row, because she was supposed to get it back to the pawn shop within 24 hours. <laughs> this may not be the place to go into all that. Oh, oh, I do wish you could make a better impression. What do you mean? I've got an impression. You think I'm scruffy, don't you? Norman? Do you think I'm scruffy? <laughs> do you want me to lie to you? Yes, please. <laughs> well, you look great. <laughs> Have you not the thought of going up market a little? Borrow something better from your local scarecrow. Just a minute, Gloria. Get out of it. I thought we were just going to go in and see the vicar. I didn't know we were going to go straight in and see God. <laughs> That's not the kind of comment they appreciate round here. Now, keep quiet and let me do the talking. That vicar needs firm handling. Oh, he's such a know-it-all. Uh, but he's such a know-it-all, couldn't you, Hannah? <laughs> Me? Why not? He wasn't shy away from responsibility. You shout at me when I get things wrong. I do? What nonsense. But it's true. Oh, all right, it's true. A bit of shouting's not going to hurt you. It's done, you must understand, in pursuit of that ideal of excellence which marks us as Christians. I think that the search for perfection, dear, is meant to apply to oneself, not to one's wife. <laughs> Bandy theology with me? Good grief, woman. Just because I ask you to help with this Utterthwaite person doesn't mean you've been promoted to bishop. <laughs> Delegate one little job. Yes, but is it a job I can do? Uh, you better go and f you better go and find out, haven't you? I'm far too busy. <laughs> the only area where volunteers are urgently required at the moment. Uh, if I can find the light. Oh, oh there used to be a light here. Oh, I'm afraid I'm not terribly good with electricity. Yeah, I get the same feeling about the electricity board. <laughs> oh, oh, how clever of you to find it. It always amazes me how the workers know about things like that. Oh, ho, ho. workers? Oh, I I hope I didn't say anything to offend him. Oh, not at all, my dear. You've made his day. Hey, up dog, she called me a worker. Oh, don't worry about it. Politicians have been getting it wrong for years. <laughs> As you can see, we urgently need help with the costumes for the Beatrix Potter evening. I 
don't suppose that you're all tremendously experienced at sewing? Now, come along, my little chucky. Do I look as though I'm the sort of person who's experienced with sewing? <laughs> I was thinking of something much more responsible you could lay on my shoulders. Organising church conferences, trips to the Holy Land. Oh, I don't think Charles would wish me to go as far as that. Well, does he realise how well qualified I am? He seems to know of your reputation. <laughs> Very gratifying, did you hear that? Oh, there is, of course, our perpetual problem where everyone else has failed. You name it, my dear, I shall fix it. The tickets aren't going very well. You could sell some tickets. <laughs> it's not what I had in mind. I'll never get rid of that lot. Oh, it's not as if I couldn't. But it's such a waste of one's talents. Well, at least we didn't have to pray. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong, I'm not against the odd prayer. It's this going public that makes you shudder. I always think the religion is essentially private. Like your medical records. I've never seen mine. Well, me neither. Well, that's what I call really private. <laughs> All right, how many will you take? A what? Tickets. Oh, not me, kiddo. Oh, no. You volunteer for the job, so you sell them, Mr. Efficiency. Come on. I was speaking also on your behalf, naturally. Oh, look, I know it's not what we had in mind. I still not got it in mind. But it's a fucking report. We make a splendid job of selling these, and they realise how they're underusing me. Well, I'm no good at selling things. You can't fight genetics. I was born a buyer. <laughs> I'm not buying a ticket for people that dance about dressed up as mice. Well, they sing as well. I don't care if they squeak. <laughs> there are some people who can sell anything, but only to people like me. I was born to buy anything. No, oh, I believe you're afraid of this assignment. I see I shall have to demonstrate to you that with a little force of personality, it can be done. Well, this could be interesting, Norm. Uh -huh. Group over there. Crowd of men enjoying a laugh. Always inclined to spend freely. Uh, yeah, but if there's going to be any trouble, Seymour, would you be kind enough not to tell them that you're with us, eh? <laughs> oh, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now, I wonder if I could interest you in buying a few seats for the Tales of Beatrix Butter. No, thanks, Beth. <laughs> And look, it's for a very worthwhile well, charity. Was <laughs> <laughs> that a former headmaster just went past? Eh? I couldn't tell from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> look on the positive side. What positive side? Well, how many people, when they get to your time of life, are still getting these new experiences. Being thrown out of a common boozer. An experience that I could have well done without. I thought I handled it very well, didn't I? Looked like he'd been doing it all his life. A big one. <laughs> oh, stop twitching. It's now. Everybody's been thrown out of a boozer. Everybody has not been thrown out of a boozer. No? Well. Maybe in a few chintzy little areas down south. <laughs> Can't be much of a lie. You never realise there are still some people who live their whole lives without being thrown out of a boozer. <laughs> There's no excuse for it in this day and age. Oh, countless people get thrown out of pubs by the landlord. It's a normal part of the evolutionary cycle. But I think we've got to hand it to Seymour here for leaping straight into that exclusive body of men who have actually been tossed out by the customers. <laughs> I suppose you think I'm a failure. You do, don't you? You think I'm a failure. 
I thought I did very well. I remember the first time I was thrown out. Cool. I made a right bog of it. <laughs> well, you're better now. <laughs> I'm better now. About the tickets. You think I'm a failure? They were on to a loser there from the start. I must be losing my grip. Well, perhaps you ought to stop taking this negative attitude towards failure, Seymour. What other attitude is there? Well, there's a lot to be said for failure. It's like an old friend. We've been living together quietly now for years. <laughs> Not my way. Well, give it a chance. And if there's any way that we can help, remember, Seymour, when it comes to failure, you're in the hands of two of the finest natural players in the country. <laughs> Definitely. I'll challenge anybody to a failure anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Not the utter sweet cold. Now, relax, Seymour. Go with the flow. We take the tickets back. Call it a day. End of responsibility. Wait off the mind. Sleep like a baby. <laughs> I'll do it. By God, I'll do it. I'll put an end to responsibility. Enough of this eternal pressure to succeed. I've done all that. It's not as if I haven't done all that. <laughs> we we'll just leave the tickets on the table. Ah, that's getting the hang of this irresponsible lot real good now, Seymour. No need to explain it to that know-it-all vicar. Spoken like a real loser, Seymour. We'll make something of you yet. Oh, I'm beginning to see what you mean. It's such a relief to throw off the burden of always being looked up to socially. Drift with the mindless throng. You know, for a while, I think I might enjoy it. <laughs> hey, up! Dear, oh dear. It makes you wonder if you're safe anywhere. It's the so-so sisters. <laughs> Just when you thought that the worst that could happen was having your thread snap. <laughs> don't you start anything on church premises. Listen, if they're superstitious, why don't you come outside? Come on. <laughs> Great time. I wish you were here. Oh. Well, at least while they're here, I know they're not upsetting our Milburn in the cafe. I've never seen Milburn upset. I can't imagine Milburn upset. It's like finding that Gibraltar is a lemon meringue. <laughs> That'll do. Our Milburn may not be fast, but he's a good lad underneath. Underneath? He's too big to get underneath anything. He <laughs> keep away! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> You wouldn't be saying that, would you, if we were alone? I shouldn't be saying anything. I'd be flattening you with something harder than this. Ah, uh, but you must admit I bring colour to your cheeks. <laughs> You're not going to stop him. Is there no practising Anglican here to do his duty? <laughs> Is this why I moved up from chapel? <laughs> Well, Seymour usually handles disciplinary matters. Sorry, my responsible days are over. I just go with the flow. I was never a great interferer. I'm more your raging apathetic. What are you lot doing here, anyway? Just bringing those unsold tickets back. Back? Who needs them back? We need them sold. We're going to have more in the damn cast than we have in the audience. <laughs> You give up your time to make costumes for the show. And nobody can be bothered to sell tickets. No, nobody cares. <laughs> Relax, go with the flow. Well, I don't know which flow you're going with. <laughs> but she can't be up to much if she's stopping you selling tickets. We need people to sell tickets. I mean, we haven't been putting in all these hours for fun. They haven't got the yeah. message, have they? All this hassle, all this hustle. Nice attitude for a headmaster. Uh, Seymour, uh, this is no place to be preaching hippie. Oh, but you said... No, no, don't quote me. I'm so unreliable. Yes, but you taught me. 
You taught me into throwing off all the shackles of responsibility. See more utter twit. That is disgusting. Don't worry, my little lovelies. I'll sell the tickets. Disgusting? What do you mean? You know what he means, and he's quite right. He may not be all that well educated, but at least his heart's in the right place. <laughs> We've had our differences, but at least when the crunch comes... But you said! Yeah. You both said! Yeah. Just uh, go with the flow, Seymour. <laughs> I was made to look a right fool. Now that's the first thing you've got to stop worrying about if you're going to be a real success at failure. Yes. That, look, I tried hard to be a failure. That little creep in there who kept putting his boot in, shaming me in front of all those ladies. I'll sell the tickets for thee, love. How could he sell tickets if I couldn't? Impact, he said. A more positive approach. <laughs> no talking cats allowed. Oh, I shall give such a squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> Don't go away. One woman police force, Jessica Fletcher, stumbles across more nefariousness next here on UK TV drama in Murder, She Wrote.